Today we're going to be doing a full day tour with the company Roatan.day. What do we have here? Fish. What kind of fish is it? It's red snapper. Nice properties here, right? What's the name of the monkey? Chewy. Chewy the monkey. What kind of fish do you think we'll see today? This place definitely has some uh, historical significance to the island. Nice. Let's go. Welcome back to Generic Expats. It is a very exciting morning here on Sunday, October 22nd, around 9 a.m. We find ourselves in Honduras, the island of Roatan, and the princesa is going to be staying behind today. Now, why? We're going to be doing a full day tour with the company Roatan.day Tours, and we're going to be doing some exciting things around the island, which is all included. We have this awesome Canadian expat who's going to be taking us on this tour and showing us some great marvels. So let's get some more information from the main man himself. What is your name and where are you from? Hey guys, I'm Patrice. I'm an expat from Canada. What part of Canada? I'm from Quebec, more precisely. Awesome, a Quebecois. We are in the island of Roatan, correct? In Honduras? Yes, yes. You have a tour business here on the island, correct? Yeah, here I'm doing a Airbnb and, uh, and tours. Are you doing Airbnb at this particular location behind us? Yeah, right here I'm renting uh, the friend's room. We get a lot of uh, backpacker going on their way to Utila for spending uh, their dive trip there. Right, so you offer services for diving as well as Airbnb included, correct? Yeah, we do offer uh, shore diving and or uh, during a boat dive and play the role of a photograph. Awesome, and you can find these tours on your website? Yeah, of course, on Roatan.day. Roatan.day is the name of the website? Yep. Okay, great. And what tour are we going to be doing today? Today we're going to do a full day tour. It's a mangrove tour. We're going to explore a mangrove tunnel forged by the pirates 800 years ago. We're going to have some very nice snorkeling in the mangroves. And also what we're adding here, it's an extra snorkeling spot on the reef. That's a particular to us. Is this a more unique tour than you can find from the main tour agency? Most agency won't go snorkeling with you on the reef, but we will. Awesome. So it includes the transport, correct? Picking you up and bringing you to the boat tour? Yes, and don't forget we're going to eat in Punta Gorda also. What does the food include in the Punta Gorda stop? Yeah, we're gonna eat, uh, taste the fish culture of the uh, Garifuna people right there. Awesome, that sounds amazing. And what is the price of this full day tour? Well, it's $120 and it includes everything, minus the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> right, some people might want to get really, really happy at the end of the tour, right? Is there a minimum of people you need for this tour? It's a minimum of two person. Two people, $120 includes everything. What's great about this place is it's historical in Honduras because the pirates were using the mangrove tunnel that they made themselves to hide out from the, from the navy of the new world. And at some point they were making so much trouble cutting at the trade routes that the, the British navy had to come to, to this island. They completely took it over at some point. The British navy wanted to put an end to the piracy, but the pirates hid in the mangrove where we're going today. This place definitely has some uh, historical significance to the island, doesn't it? Let's talk a little bit about the people that we're going to have here on our tour. How did you meet these, uh, these two guests we're having today? Oh yeah, Jeff is a fellow diver. Okay, so you guys met diving. Yeah. Okay, so he spilled the beans. Your name is? <laughs> My name is Jeff. Jeff, where are you from? I am from Virginia. And your name? Sophia. 
And you're from? France. France and Honduras? Yeah. Exactly. Okay, great. So we're going to be doing the tour with these two foreign expats here in Honduras. Can you explain what do you guys do on the island? We have a restaurant and we have a bed and breakfast over in Palatili Bight. What's the name of your restaurant? It's called The Table. What do you serve typically at this restaurant? It's a fusion restaurant. We do international cuisine from all over the world, from all of our experiences from our travels. We use the ingredients of the island to make something that's pretty incredible for the expats to get to come here and enjoy stuff from around the world. Okay, excellent. Well, let's go ahead and start this tour. Let's jump into the boat and start going. Captain! All right, and let's get to know a little bit our captain of the boat. What is your name, Captain? Cindy. Cindy, where are you from? I'm from here, Oak Ridge, born and raised here in Honduras. Oak Ridge? OG right here, yeah, Oak Ridge OG, right around the corner. Well, let's go ahead and hit the water. Hello! Hello! Hi! Hello! Hello! The biggest one there, she was donated from the U.S. Ah, really? Yeah. And these are military? Yes, they are military boats. boats. See all of these boats really here? Bad. They are shrimp uh -huh. boats. These are shrimp boats? Yeah. They're Which ones? Right like there? Yeah, they are lobster, lobster boats. Blue here. One, the white one and also the big the blue one. Yeah. The blue one here is a dive boat. Okay. Yeah. Diving for lobster on that yeah, one. Yeah, dive for lobster and conchs. And okay. conchs. And they, oh. they, they, they catch fish too also. All of it is for sale. Yeah. How much do you think this house runs for? I don't really know the price of that house, but I knew the price of them two, two, two lumber one over there. Yeah. Three hundred and forty, this thing. Three hundred forty thousand dollars. Ah, okay. Why is it called the Czech village? Because it's owned by the Czechos. Czech village. The only people that live there yeah. is Czech people. They're from the Czech Republic? Yes. Oh, okay. They buy, they build, they sell. Uh, how, how many Czech people live there, do you know? Ooh, I can tell you, but it's a lot. There's a lot of houses. Yeah. Hot and running. Blindfolded yeah. now, yeah. Hit 80, 80 MPH. <laughs> what is the name of this base today? Carol Point. Carol Point? buildings on the on the bay little drink and food stop oh, in the wall bar here oh there he is What's the name of the monkey? Chewy. Chewy the monkey. Hey Chewy! How's it going bro? Uh, 
All right, well that takes us to the second part of our full day tour now, doesn't it, Pat? Oh yes. What is the second part? The second part is snorkeling. Yeah, welcome to Oak Ridge Cave. Let's, Let's go. go. Where are we now exactly? Right now we're in Oak Ridge Cay at the Reef House. The Reef House. Is there a special connection, special VIP exclusive access you have here? Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. This area is actually quite good for snorkeling, right? Does it have a specific type of nice fish? Yeah, this place is crowded with parrot fish, scorpion fish, buffer fish, porcupine fish. <laughs> What kind of fish do you think we'll see today? Do you think we'll see all of those? On a good day it's possible, but stuff is random, so... I guess we'll have to cross our fingers and hope. It's time for us to go suit up, right? Did you bring your snorkel gear for everyone? Yeah, we got a snorkel gear now. Let's go gear up. All right, let's go gear up. Let's put on our swimming gear and let's go jump in the water. That was a pretty fantastic adventure we had under the water here. What were the best type of creatures you saw underwater today? We just have the luck to find a scorpion fish. They're very difficult to find. We saw snapper fish, barracudas. Those were some fantastic finds and I definitely was not expecting to see such rare creatures. When speaking about fish, there's something else that we have to do on our full day tour, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, right now we're going to visit the Punta Gorda, host of the Garifuna people, island cuisine, typical stuff at Watuga restaurant, and we're going to eat them. So let's head out to Punta Gorda. Time for us to hit it, right Cindy? Yes, we are all set and ready to go. Set and ready.
Don't take over for lunch. of the day and uh, seafood machuca. Seafood. You want to try seafood? seafood? Machuca. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. La machuca es la comida nativa de nosotros los garifunos. Excellent. Sí. That's it. It seems we have made it to our final destination on this full day tour. Can you tell us where we are right now? Oh yes, now we are actually in Punta Gorda. Where is Punta Gorda on the island? Punta Gorda is, uh, is somewhere in the middle of the island. <laughs> like north central part. Yeah. Okay, and it's pretty close to where we just left, right? From where we left at the snorkeling spot. Yeah, we are 10 minutes away from, uh, from the east side. All right, so you don't have to wait too long after finishing your snorkeling to come over here and jump into what we're going to be enjoying right now. What are the typical plates that most people will want to order here? This place offers the most uh, typical uh, food here on the island. Today we are going to try out uh, machuca, which is uh, a soup. So what machuca means, it means uh, smash it. So they smash uh, green plantain and, uh, and uh, yellow plantains. Yellow plantain is more sugary, so it gives a very uh, nice taste uh, with the, the, the green one. So as number three here on the menu is the machuca. You have the option of getting it with fish or seafood. I chose the seafood and then besides the machuca, what else did we order? Yeah, we chose the catch of the day for it. <laughs> Do you know how the catch of the day is prepared? You can pick it to be uh, served on herbs or serve uh, fried. What type of culture is represented in this food? It's the Garifuna people, some of the first uh, tribes that made it to the island. So it has this traditional style culture influenced in the food. So I'm really excited to eat this. Where are we now? And now we are on the dock at yeah. another Palapa. A nice Palapa. We found a really good spot here to get some good wind, some good breeze, beautiful view around us. Looking good? Looking awesome, my friend. <laughs> it seems like the second dish is just about to come out. We have the machuca and senorita. What do we have here? Fish. What kind of fish is it? It's red, it's red snapper. Red snapper and it, is it fried? It is fried. <laughs> All right, and here what kind, of, uh, what kind of seafood is in the machuca? In the machuca we have a uh, lobster, we have shrimp, we have a uh, uh, conch and um, king crab. Excellent. Thank you so much. We are hungry after a good day snorting around and now we're gonna eat some delicious food. Time to replenish after burning so many calories out in the sea, right? Oh yes. <laughs> That was quite the feast. What was your favorite part of the two different dishes we just had now? It's hard to have a favorite uh, part. Everything was very good. The machuca was on point. Lobster with the king crab, the shrimps, and the fried fish was awesome. My favorite was the fried fish. It was out of this world. Other level stuff, obviously lobster and crab are great, but that fried fish was on point. Well, let's head back to our home destination. <laughs> 